I'm at York River State Park near Williamsburg, Virginia. Should be some good the gravel and mountain bike trails here. And some pretty scenery, so let's see how it goes. Be the first mountain bike trail in the morning. Bobcat run. See how it is. I did some research on these trails online, lots of YouTube videos. And none of the mountain bike trails seem to be too crazy. Not a lot of rocks, not a lot of roots. And they all seem to be pretty well maintained. But I think I can handle it on the gravel bike. There is one trail here that's almost six miles long. It looks to be a little more difficult than the rest. But I think the difficulty is mostly rated on length and going up and down. So we'll see how this goes this morning. I'm gonna head off Bobcat onto the John Blair Trail for just a second. Over to another trail called Pamunkey. And down that trail to a scenic overlook. I'm a sucker for the scenic overlooks. Watch out for the horse dropping. Those look fresh. I have scared some horses on my rides in the past. Gotta be careful about that. over to a trail called Majestic Oak where there used to be an estimated 200 to 400 year old oak tree about eight foot around the base but it has since fallen I think back in 2016 but we'll take that trail and continue on again these trails are really nice there's not a lot of rocks not a lot of features, just nice up and down flow. This place would be perfect for a, if you have a hardtail mountain bike. You don't need a full suspension mountain bike here. I'm on a gravel bike today because it's all I brought on my trip. So we'll see how that works, but it's been fine so far. And I'm going to try to find the the place where the famous oak used to be, it's too bad that it's gone. The tree could have been as old as 400 years old. One estimate I saw online said 256 years old. That would have been really cool. So we'll go see that, where that was, and then I'll take another trail to keep going along the river. down to the river oh man here it is I did not realize the oak was still here I want to show you guys something really cool so unfortunately this majestic oak estimated to be about 250 years old fell in about 2016 but even if it wasn't here there's evidence that it lived via this hole in the canopy, which is really cool. That was Majestic Oak. It's a pretty cool backstory and little area where the tree remains. Now I'm taking this really sandy trail called Cohattan Fork that will get me to another trail where I'm trying to go see there it is, Powhatan Forks Trail. I'm trying to see the river. There's another scenic overlook up here soon. Nah, this is really cool. Might have to stop and take a picture here. Not 
that's awesome. There's the York River. Choosing to take uh, the twisted turns down to the river on the mountain bike trail instead of the, the, the more access road type path. So, been enjoying it so far. Again, these trails are really well maintained, very smooth. You'll be just fine on a hardtail or even what I was forced into doing today was taking the rigid bike out. I'm on vacation and it's all I brought, but it's worked out fine. And this is really cool. Up on the edge up here. Wow, this is pretty cool. One of those things you can go down once. on the way back up. Ooh, a little sand. <laughs> you can't steer. Oh, horse poop, horse poop. Just missed it. Thankful for these super thin tires. No need to get close to that thing. Don't know if it's dead or alive. But it has its head up. Pretty cool. I'm getting my energy back. Riding a few of these access roads in a in a row. I want to go check out a trail called Marl Ravine. That's rated double black. But if it's anything like the rest of the park, it's nice, smooth, free flowing stuff and it should be pretty fun. So we'll see. But we are at the Morrow Ravine mountain bike trail. Trail fork says 5.6 miles, double black. So let's do it. They take great lengths to warn you that it is a dangerous, scary trail. But we'll see. I think it's gonna be fun. I All right, trailhead of Morrow Ravine. Let's see what it ha has to offer. Very well marked, very well kept up. Love it here, it's a lot of fun. I'm on the Marl Ravine Trail, having a good time. Nothing too difficult yet, I think it's just a lot of ups and downs. Really longer, it's a longer trail, almost six miles. Some climbing, some sharper descents. So I can see why, but this feels like a really nice, Cross country hardtail trail. You can get some speed, a little tech here and there. But it's nice. Look who I found. Hey, bud. Just sitting in the middle of the trail. That is really cool. Actual footage of the speed I go on my bike rides. Hey, my second turtle of the day. Third turtle of the day. Again, moving at about my pace. Honestly, as fast as I go, could be the same one. Made it to the end of Marl Ravine. Some final thoughts on York River Park before my battery dies. If you're looking to burn some miles, see some cool scenes, Get going with some speed. This is the place for you. The gravel bike works. I would, you could do a full suspension bike here, but it's gonna be unnecessarily heavy. 
for the trails you will encounter. There's not a lot of obstacles. There's no drops, there's no crazy rollers. Just a lot of flowy up and down. I would say go with the lightest bike you have. If you want suspension, that's fine. You know, get a hardtail out here, but you don't need a full suspension monster bomber out here. Anyways, hope you thought it was cool. Thanks.